question for the Michael before he steps off the podium. Cool. Michael, how do you top last year? Personally, uh, we got to play better, but you know that really starts in practice. So I feel like if we practice harder each and every day, then uh, we'll overcome what we did last year. Oh, yeah, you can always be better. I mean, that just depends on how hard you work. Same as before, if you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll bring the mic there, right over here, Alex. Uh, LaMichael, what can you do personally in order to be a better running back? For instance, would you like to get the ball out of the backfield as far as receiving, something you didn't have a lot of last year? Yeah, you know, I'll do whatever it takes, you know. If that means being a decoy or, you know, blocking, uh, playing receiver, you know, I'll do anything to, for my teammates. Michael, we talked about with Chip that you know one of the question marks th this year is how the team's going to perform and rise to the challenge with the spotlight of the investigation. You guys did that two years ago when you kind of got off to a rough start. What is it about this team that to now has allowed it to sort of band together and you know do as well or better than people think when there's some controversy or tough times going on? I mean, there's always controversy. You know, uh, we play for the team, and I play for the team. We don't play for. Anybody else, you know, uh, if you have to worry about what the fans say or what the media has to write about, then we're playing for the wrong reasons. Now that you've had some, a few months to sort of digest um, that national championship game, what do you think you've learned from that experience and how are you going to use that to motivate yourself this upcoming season? Uh, you, I mean, you just got to prepare. And I think that's the big key. It, it all goes in the way you prepare and the way you practice, you know. Uh, Probably not going to be the best team that go out there and play on the every weekend, you know. But we you know we just have to prepare well, you know. We just have to be the best team that day, you know. So Michael, what what impressed you most about what Darren did last year, and, and what's the next step for him going into his second year as the starter? Uh, Darren's a great player, you know. He did a lot of great things, you know. He really stands in the pocket. He takes a lot of shots that nobody sees and. He's an unbelievable leader, and you know he blocks. He blocks really well too. So, uh, Darren's an unbelievable player, and I'm really excited to see what he's going to do this year. I got it back here, Michael. Uh, this year, how how, uh, how how do you see this team as being the, the personality of this team being different from last year's? So on the offensive side, probably not so much, but the defensive side. I mean, we lost players on both sides of the ball. So, how do you see this team's personality coming together, and what differences from last year? Oh, with that question, I, I'm guessing we're just going to have to wait and see. You know, uh, we're going to have to wait and see when fall camps really begin. We get the pads on and uh, everybody gets together and see how things are going to fare in that way. Michael, I'm curious if you read the interview Willie Lyles gave to Yahoo Sports. Yeah, I'm has, sure. Has your opinion changed of him at all? No, you know, I, I really don't know too much about that side of the fact. You know, uh, I focus on my team, and that's the only thing I focus on. I don't really care what outsiders have to say. Is your relationship with Willie Lyles the same as it was Steve, before? Steve, I'm going to interrupt right now. I mean, we're talking about football. We're not talking about anything else. If you don't, you're wasting somebody else's time here that wants to talk about football. Any other questions for LaMichael? LaMichael, I know that um, you could have turned pro. One of the reasons you came back was you talked about getting your degree. But for football, what made you want to come back another year for, for football? I love my teammates, and I think that's a big key. You know, I don't want to let those guys down, and I love my coach too. You know, I, Coach Cam is a really big part of me and uh, things I do on the football field, and uh, I just want to play one more year for him and with the guys that I'm with now. Do you feel like there's unfinished business after how close you guys got last year? Most definitely, there is. You know, we can we can get better. You know, the sky's the limit for us. Uh, so that just depends on us. If you work harder, and I'm here to push my teammates and myself to be the best that we can be, and. Uh, I don't want to leave, you know, I want to be a leader on the team and uh, I'm going to push those guys to the end. I didn't say that, you said that. <laughs> no, I don't know, you know, uh, after the season, then we'll decide there, but right now, focus on day one. Michael, back here. You talk about your offensive line guys and, you know, you're looking at, uh, they called um, Darian Weems the, the sixth starter, returning three of six guys now. If you look at him as a six starter, can you just talk about those guys and the chemistry you've had with them in the past and now the guys that are still here? 
Oh man, I love the offensive line. They, they do a great job blocking, and then if they don't, then I'm going to make them correct. You know, it really depends on the running back to set them up and put those guys in positions to get to those blocks. You know, uh, Darren's not a six man. I think he's just as good as anybody that starts for us. And uh, the offensive line be really good this year, and I know that because our defensive line is really good. So I'm really excited to see what, what happens. Michael faced a big uh, defensive line from Auburn. What do you know about LSU and how, what do you expect from uh, their defensive line this year? They're going to be strong. You know, they're going to be fast. A typical SEC uh, defense. And uh, if he can't handle them up front, then it's going to be a long day for us. So, you know, it really starts up front. And uh, I'm confident in my guys. I mean, they played in the BCS game against Auburn. They know what to expect. We played Tennessee. It's no different. So uh, playing those two games should help us out in the long run and know what to expect. The mic over here. Uh, unlike last season, you're going to start the year in a huge national spotlight. So how much did the Heisman trip and the Dope Walker trip and all that stuff prepare you for playing this season, which, again, is going to start you know, right out of the gate in the national spotlight? Well, I mean, uh, preparing me or preparing the team is two different things. No, well, yeah, but you. <laughs> uh, it didn't really prepare me. You know, uh, If it prepared me, then it's not preparing the team, then it's not making the team better. And none of that stuff even matters. That's all media and other stuff that goes into that. You know, I'm, I'm here for the team. I don't care about a Doak Walker or a Heisman Trophy. Uh, none of that stuff's not going to matter. You know, the only thing I care about is winning games. LeMike, uh, can you talk about your relationship with Kenyon and what he brings to the team and also how good he could be if you weren't there and he was just the feature back for, for you guys or any other team? Kenyon's my best friend. Uh, he really is an unbelievable player. You know, he can do anything pretty much. He can play receiver. He can tackle. Anything he can do, I'm sure he probably could throw the ball if you asked him to. Uh, and I'm sure if I wasn't here, uh, he could start for any team in the country, I believe. That's how good Kenyon really is. Hey, LaMichael, um, coach was talking, you know, cautioning everybody that this is a young team with a lot of new starters. Yet, you know, the, you're ranked number three. Are expectations a little higher, or do you like it like that? Do you want, to, you want people talking about you, as even though you have a lot of guys to replace? It doesn't really matter. You know, it's just all talk. You know, at the end of the day, you got to play the game. You know, the game is won on the football field, and uh, the talk, you know, the talking is done off the football field. So, you know, we got to stay focused on the task at hand, and that's not listening to all the hype. <laughs> there is no such thing as expectations too high. <laughs> so we set ourselves up for our expectations, and, you know, we hold ourselves accountable for what we accept and what we want to hold our standards up to. So that's a big part for us. You know, we really don't let anybody else put expectations on us. Any other questions for LaMichael? One more, Jerry. LaMichael, how long does that national championship game stay with you? A, a tough loss, you were that close to, to come into this season, provide some incentive, or is that just the past? It's over. You know, I, I don't think about that one day of my life, you know. it's. Nothing you can do about it. You can't change it. Uh, can't go back and play the game again. So, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It's a loss, and uh, this is a whole different chapter, a whole different season, and I'm focused on the task at hand right now.